In this video, I'll go over configuring Disk Station Manager as a single sign-on client through Authentic. This video builds off my previous video on setting up Authentic on a Sanaji NAS using Container Manager. If you haven't gone through that video yet, make sure to do so, and I'll leave a link to the video in the description below. Much of what I'll be going over comes from an excellent blog post from hohol.io which I'll also link in the description of this video. The post covers single sign-on functionality in DSM and explains OpenID Connect, the identity authentication protocol that we'll be using. I found steps three and four particularly informative for configuring Authentic and DSM, and they were a great resource in making this video. Now let's get to the setup by logging into Authentic with the AK admin account, which provides administrator access. Once logged in, select Admin Interface, then expand the Applications menu and select Providers. Here, we'll want to create a new provider, so click Create. From this window, select OAuth2 OpenID Provider, then click Next. In the New Provider window, we'll need to fill in some details. First, give the provider a name. I've set mine to Synology. For authorization flow, I'll select the default provider authentication explicit consent option. This displays a button that we'll need to click before being redirected to DSM, whereas the implicit option redirects to DSM automatically. Leave the client type as confidential. You can also copy the client ID and client secret, which we'll need later when setting up DSM. For redirect URI slash origins, select regex and enter the sign-in URL that you'll use to access DSM. This will be set up as a reverse proxy later in the video. In my case, I've chosen this URL. Make sure this is an exact match, including the slash pound slash sign-in section, Otherwise, the connection to Authentic will fail. Next, under Advanced Flow Settings, set the Authentication Flow to Default Authentication Flow. That should be all we need to change, so click Finish. Now, we'll set up an application to use the provider we just created. Select Applications, then select Create. In the Create Application window, Enter an application name and slug, which will be used as part of the application's URL. Next, select the provider we just created. Under UI settings, you can select an icon, and I'm using some DSM images I downloaded. Enter what you would like for publisher and description, then click Create. Next, we'll want to create an account to log into DSM. Under the Directory menu, select Users, then click Create to bring up the Create User window. The only required field is Username, so I'll enter a username I want to use, leave everything else as is, and click Create. You can also add a name or email if you would like. One important note, the username matches an administrator account that's already set up in DSM. We'll go over why this is required later in the video. Now expand the details for the account that you just created, select Set Password, and enter in a password for the account. Switch over to DSM to continue the setup. Open Control Panel, select Domain slash LDAP, then go to SSO Client. From here, enable the Select SSO by default on the Login Page option. Then, under Services, check the box to enable OpenID Connect SSO Service, then click OpenID Connect SSO Settings to open the Settings window. From the Profile dropdown, select OIDC. For Account Type, select Domain slash LDAP slash Local. In the Name field, enter Authentic. For a well-known URL, enter the OpenID configuration URL from the Synology provider we created earlier. 
for application ID and application secret, enter the client ID and client secret from Authentic. If you didn't note them down earlier, you can find them in the Synology provider settings in Authentic. The redirect URI should be the redirect URIs from the provider settings as well. Next, change the authorization scope to email, open ID, profile, then for username claim, enter preferred underscore username. Click save and apply to complete the SSO client setup. Now let's create a reverse proxy for the redirect URI we entered earlier. Open the Login Portal Control Panel, click Advanced, then go to Reverse Proxy. Click Create to open the Reverse Proxy Rules window. Enter a descriptive name for your reverse proxy. Under Source, set the protocol to HTTPS. Enter a hostname that builds off the DDNS hostname you set up after following my previous authentic video. In my case, I'm using dsm.digialoha.synology.me. Then set the port to 443. For destination, leave the protocol as HTTP, enter localhost for hostname, and set the port to 5000. Now assign the reverse proxy to the Let's Encrypt certificate created in the previous video. Open the Security Control Panel, then select Certificate. Click Settings, then assign the reverse proxy you just created to use the DDNS hostname certificate. At this point, open DSM using the reverse proxy hostname that you just set up. You should see the DSM login screen with the Authentic SSO Authentication option. Click on the arrow key to launch Authentic. If you're still logged in as the AK admin user, click Not You to log out. Now enter the username you created earlier, which for me is dsadmin, then enter the password. This logs me in as the dsadmin user and displays the Synology DSM application created earlier. I'll close this window, reload the DSM login page, and click on the arrow button once again. This time, since Authentic is already logged in as dsadmin, dsm logs in automatically. I briefly mentioned earlier that you need to create an account in both Authentic and dsm. This kind of defeats the purpose of single sign-on, but it is a limitation of Synology setup, so I wanted to walk through creating a user from scratch so you see exactly what I mean. Here, I'm logged into Authentic as akadmin and I'll create a new user just like I did for dsadmin. I'll also set a password for this new user. Now I'll log out of akadmin in Authentic and log out of dsm where I'm still logged on as dsadmin. I'll try logging into dsm with the new Authentic user using single sign-on, which works fine in Authentic, but displays an error in DSM. This is because DSM doesn't recognize the user and is solved by creating a matching account within DSM. To fix this, I'll log into DSM as dsadmin, open Control Panel, go to User and Group, and create a new user with the same username as in Authentic. Note, the password doesn't need to match, just the username. I'll generate a random password here in DSM to prove the point. After clicking through the remaining setup windows to complete the setup, I'll log out. Now I'll try logging in through the Authentic SSO again. Since I'm already logged into Authentic with the new user, I automatically get redirected back to DSM and logged in with a matching DSM account. 
I've also integrated Authentic with other applications and services, and you'll see a playlist through those videos here on screen as videos are released. If you haven't checked out my previous video on setting up Authentic on a Synology NAS, you'll find it linked on screen as well. Lastly, consider supporting my channel by subscribing or giving this video a thumbs up. If you'd like help with integrating an application with Authentic, leave a comment below and I'll try to create a video on it. Thanks so much for watching.